anyways, let's look for another game. I really want to put these guys to the test. You know, I like I like just staying with the same members of a team as long as I know that they're solid and just seeing how far up they can push themselves in the ladder. And by the way, some of you might be saying that I'm using a different username with this. This is going to be my username for testing Pokemon teams because my main account, um, hi, I'm Etika. I don't want that one to get messed up by losses with teams that I don't think are fully developed yet. I, mean, I don't think this team is fully developed yet, or at least I'm not fully developed with the team yet. So once the synergy between me and the Pokemon come through, then I think I'll be fine. So anyways, possible leads. Greninja is definitely a possible lead. If he leads in there with Greninja though, we can definitely go with Nosferatu and Brave Bird. I, mean, I think it should kill him. I really think it should. So anyway, let's go with Nosferatu. We got this. Um, let's, you know what, this is going to be my first time seeing if Nosferatu can one-hit KO a Greninja. It's going to be faster, unless he's Choice Scarf, so, whatever. He has a sat. What the fuck are you doing? Why do you have a Focus Sash? They're, they're supposed to have Life Orbs! What is this shit? Why? Is this normal for Greninja to have Focus Sash? Why Focus Sash? You're not even setting up, unless you had Spikes, but I don't know. Okay. This is very strange to me because I've never seen him. Because of that, we lost fucking. Okay, whatever. This is gonna build a punch here. It's probably gonna switch out though. I should probably predict that. Let's stealth off. Come on, I know you wanna switch out. You still got a healthy Greninja. There's nothing wrong with him, he's just got one HP. It's not status, so. Yeah. Good. So, we got our stealth rocks up now, this is good, but there's a Latias in the field and this thing could set up on us. That's a scary thought. Mm. Let's go into Cut Atlantics, just to ensure that we Thunder Wave this guy, slow him down to make him easier to revenge kill. Or we could roar him out, like... Okay, so let's just go for the Thunder Wave, I don't know, I mean, I just want to make sure that he's slowed down, because that way we can revenge kill him really easy. But with who? Probably Mara Heracles. Alright, he's gonna go to Sasha. That's fine. And with the leftovers, we should be able to live another one. And now we can just go for a roar. And that way he won't have his boost. He'll still be paralyzed. And we can get some entry hazard damage on something else. And from the looks of it, the only thing that he really has to take out my entry hazards are his Zapdos with the defaults. So I think we're okay here. Okay, he's gonna get paralyzed. This is great. Oh, and Greninja's down? Thank you. Okay, I think things are working out for me. Well, at least we both have the same amount of Pokemon left alive now. So, of course, it's going to go into Zapdos. And I know the Defog is coming. But if the Defog is coming, then I can just go into Darmanitan and get a Flare Blitz off and deal a lot of damage to something. He's going to go for the Discharge. That's okay. Um... And then, of course, now the Heat Ran switch is really obvious. It's extremely obvious, but I do have the superpower just in case. So if, even if he does go into Heat Ran, I got the superpower, so it's no big deal. It's fine. I mean, normally I would have predicted that and probably going for the superpower off the bat, but I didn't want to risk going for the superpower and he knowing that Heat Ran could come in. And, I mean, well, he, he probably wanted to use Zapdos to stay in there if he over predicted and thought that I would go for the superpower, but nah. All right, so now Heat Ran's dead. X, Darmanitan, man. People were not lying, man. This thing is extremely strong. Even though Superpower isn't powered up by sheer force, this thing is still a force to be reckoned with. I mean, I don't know. I know it's really strong, but I was a little curious if it would take out the Heat Ran or not. But as you guys saw, it did. I mean, because I know Heat Ran can be bulky sometimes, you know? I know we got Umbreon in there. Let's go into. Let's go into my copy later. We're gonna. We're gonna actually try to hit this guy with a pin missile, or a close combat, or a rock blast protecting the Zapdos. The Zapdos is definitely probably going to come in, so you know what, let's go for this rock blast. And he didn't come in. He's probably gonna try to go for a file play, but we resisted, so we should be okay. Yeah, we resist that, man, what are you doing? I mean, now I kind of want to predict him going into maybe his Zapdos, but I don't know, I mean, he might just stay in again. He might just stay in. Or we can predict him going into Mega Mawa. Hmm. Let's go for another Rock Blast, Bobby. Alright, he's gonna protect just to scout. 
I, I, I don't blame him for that because you know right now I kind of have like the I have the initiative in my hand. I just don't want to lose this chance, this opportunity. So the Rock Blast constantly. He's probably thinking to go into Mega Mawile now, just because Mega Mawile pretty much would either be neutral or resist everything that I have. So I'm thinking now might just be our chance to probably just go for a close combat. This is hit something really really hard. Uh, okay, there we go. Umbreon's gone. You know, I, I knew that there was a chance he could overpredict and potentially just stay in simply because Umbreon will be able to eat up the Rock Blast, no problem. But alright, he's gonna go into Mawile now. This is okay because now I can go into my Gyarados and intimidate this guy. And he's gonna Mega Evolve. He's gonna Sword Dance. But it's okay. It's absolutely okay. Now he doesn't have that Intimidate to throw around, so we're gonna be able to hit him with- Oh, the fucking critical hits! Are you kidding me? Why? <laughs> and now he has the fucking... Damn, now he has the plus one in the attack. This Mawa might just sweep us in. Then again, we got copyright. And I'm hoping you'll be able to take a freaking... I'm hoping you'll be able to take a freaking um, Sucker Punch if he decides to go for it. Or he could just go for the play rough. Either way, a close combat's getting launched on him. He's gonna go for the Sucker Punch, it's fine. Close combat, 73%, it's not bad. And, uh... Hmm. I wanna predict him going for another Sucker Punch and then maybe go in there with, like, Reggae Ralph, but... Hmm... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I could just go for another close combat. And, you know, I know for a fact this Sucker Punch will kill me this time. But then what do I do after that? I could go into Ralph. Yeah, I could go into Ralph and then Bullet Punch. Yeah, you know what? I think that's the, the best option we have here. Although he might be faster than us, so his Sucker Punch will probably outspeed us. But, oh boy. Another close combat. And now, Ralph's turn. The bullet punch should be able to kill him, I hope. I mean, it's max attack adamant, you know? Okay, excellent. That worked out. Now, I know Zapdos is probably going to have Roost on him. In fact, that's a damn guarantee. But... You know what? Yeah, I think he's probably going to go for the, either the Heat Wave or the Roost. Either one of those options, I prefer the Manitana switch in there. So this way we can hit this guy with a really, really strong Flare Blitz. This should, this should really do a lot of damage. Sheer Force, Life Force, Flare Blitz, Critical Hits, baby, it's all good. That's what I'm all about. And thanks to the Sheer Force, the Life Orb Recoil is negated. We got this Latias in here, the last Pokemon. But it's scary because this Latias has Calm Mind. So, this is not necessarily an indication of me winning the game, but it's got Calm Mind. So, this thing could set up on us, and I don't, I don't want this thing to set up to the point where we won't be able to take it down. So, I gotta play really carefully around this. I'm just thinking, sack Darmanitan at this point. Just go for another Flare Blitz. It's gonna roost up again? No problem at all. And, yeah, we're gonna lose Darmanitan, but we should be at this point where the Hidden Power Ice should be able to finish this guy off, you know? I just don't want him to go for those freaking Calm Minds, man. If he starts Calm Minding up, then our Hidden Powers from Sceptile aren't going to be doing too much. Fuck it. It's time for the Hidden Power Ice, man. Let's just hope that it's able to do enough damage to take this guy down. 36%. He's probably going to Calm Mind. Oh, you fucking bitch! Stop this, Latias! Are you kidding me? Sceptile does not... Oh, okay, we got a crit. We got a crit. Alright, we're gonna have to stall him out of his roost then, but I think I have way more hidden powers than he has roost. Wait, no, no, no. He's gonna be able to roost up on us now and call mine. This is so stupid. If only Metagross had Ice Punch rather than Thunder Punch. Now here come the call mines. Man, this is so freaking stupid. I really, I really wanna put freaking, um,. I really want to put Hidden Power, I mean, I really want to put Ice Punch on Metagross now, because now, just like I feared, this Latias is going to be able to stall us out from here to Kingdom Come. Man, this we almost had this game in the bag, but we're not going to be able to kill this thing. 
But not nah, the life orb is going to kill me before the Hemp Ice is able to kill this guy. Yeah, this is pretty much a snack wrap. But hey, we, we did pretty well. It's just we didn't really have too much coverage for Latias after the fact. You know, Metagross didn't really have much to offer in general. Yeah, well, it was still a good game either way. I'm definitely going to put Ice Punch on Metagross now just to be able to have better coverage. Because I don't know, Thunder Punch hasn't really served me too well ever since I've been using this team. And I've, I've, done, a, I've done a few games with this team before I went on camera and Thunder Punch never really helps too much. So we're going to change that option right now. Ice Punch. Okay. And we're good. All right, so we're going to be doing some more tests with these guys. Like I said, I really like the way they perform. I just, I just want to get good with them. You know, a lot of times you got to understand, it's not necessarily the Pokemon themselves, but just you knowing the abilities of who can take what, how much damage certain things will do in certain situations and all that. I got to be honest, the most disappointing Pokemon on the team right now is probably Sceptile. His damage output is nowhere near as high as I thought it would be, considering that it has such good special attack and the life orb as well. But we'll do more tests before we cut anyone's dick off. 